quick update here. Um, just moving the motors around. Got some bigger, bigger driven sprockets here. This is a 48 tooth, 48 tooth, and uh, we're now down to a 16 tooth drive. It was at a 20 here and a 16 here. Sorry, 20 here, 16 here, which made it uh, 0.8 revolutions on the motor was one revolution on the motor so it's a little over gear for speed and uh, that's a lot of the cause of why I wouldn't turn so got put 16s on here and then the 48s here which makes it like something like uh, three and a half or four revolutions on the motor to the wheel which should give it a lot more torque um, just just contemplating here running still a second sprocket to drive the next set of wheels etc um, or to take so and then that would be it would be driven somewhere in that fashion or to take and get uh, two more uh, 48 tooths and then the w to three quarter attachments for them for this shaft and basically run basically run 48s on either end like I was previously thinking and uh, and then routing the chain more like that I like this idea more because it's uh, it's just the one chain then for motor rear and middle wheel the problem though is, is it's all money these cost these were $16 or, or $12, $12, and then another $6 for the uh, W mount brackets, which just give the three quarter inch coupler, that's all. Instead of welding them onto pipe like this, uh, they have a bigger inner diameter, so you need multiple steps of pipe to fit. So, but anyways, that's, you know, that's, that's almost $20 per, so that's another 40 bucks. 40 bucks to do it the way that I want to do it. The struggle is real.